What have we got here? Entertainment. Great. Hey! All of you! Get over here! <laughs> You know how this one ends. You're here to face me. You're... Jesus Christ, who are you and what are you doing here? I'm here at the command of the royal hetman, Sir Radzig Kabila. And who's he? That's no concern of yours. I'm sure we could come to some sort of agreement. Uh, I have plenty of coin. <laughs> we can come to an agreement that you'll keep your mouth shut. Oh. Oh. Please, don't take this personally. Wait! What? Do you want to do it? Be my guest. It gives me no pleasure. You can't kill him. I have orders to take him to Ratai. That is unfortunate. I have orders to kill everyone involved in this business. You can't do that! I have no choice, as you are aware. Why do you want to kill him? He may have valuable information. For that exact reason, my master does not wish this man to fall into the wrong hands, especially those of Radzik Kobila. You can tell your lord the man is dead. He'll never find out. But he will. Or do you think you can lock this man away from sight until Judgment Day? Why not? Do not be naive, boy. Look around you. This land swarms with rats and snakes, especially now. There is no secret that is not for sale. If I let you have him, my own head will be on a spike before the month is out. You don't have to go back to the Rosenbergs. How do you know about the Rosenbergs? Master Feyfar recognized the writing on your letter of passage. Just as I said, there is nothing safe from prying eyes in this land. And where would you suggest I go? Into Sir Radzik's service. He needs people like you. I serve Kubila. Out of the question. If he learned of all that I did for the Rosenbergs, he would hang me from the nearest tree. But you are right, I do not have to return to the Rosenbergs. In fact, I cannot. Why not? I am a knight without a crest, without allegiance. No one was meant to know whom I serve. If the Rosenbergs hear that I have been found out, they will see to it I vanish. They cannot afford to be associated with me. Where will you go then? Where the road takes me, as I have many times before. Farewell, Henry. Auf Wiedersehen. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Please, please, I'm sure we can come to some sort of agreement. You can talk all you like, but not here and not to me. Let's go. Let's go. Master Feyfar is very keen to meet you. Good work.
work, Henry. Thank you, Master Fayfar. It wasn't easy, I can tell you. I'll take some men and have a good look around there. And what should I do? You should get some rest and go to Rate. In the meantime, Sir Radzig will have this wretch questioned. Maybe he'll get something useful out of him. All right. I'll see you in Rate then. I'd like to enroll. All right. Of course. I'll write your name down, and I need to know what. Short sword and. Good. Take care. Entering the arena now will be. Pavel, call Roebuck from the garrison of Sir Sebastian von Berg. <laughs> Change weapons for the second bout. The combatants will engage in a duel with war hammers and shields. weapons for the second bout. We will witness a duel with long swords.
The first combatant will be the victor of many previous tournees and a combatant today too, Peter, called Black Peter. swords. Yeah. <laughs> 
just witnessed the final jewel in today's Ratai Tournay, for which we all owe gratitude to Sir Hanush of Laipa. All glory to the victor, Henry of Skelets, man-at-arms in the company of Sir Ratsi Kovila. His prize will be given to him by our gracious Sir Hanush. Here, Henry, your prize. Thank you. Thank you so much. You burned it. May the Lord watch over you. There's the man. Good work, Henry. Thank you, sir. I'd tell you to take a well-earned rest, but unfortunately I need one more thing from you. Whatever you command. Jezek refuses to talk to us. The stubborn bastard's asking to see you. Me? Indeed. Normally I'd send for Captain Bernard to beat it out of him, but then I told myself that if he's so keen to speak to you... I'll try to get something out of him. Where is he? He's locked up in the tower. Bernard will give you the key. Very well, sir. I'm glad you're here, Henry. What's happening, sir? Uncle Sir Hanush sent for me. No doubt he wants to give me another ear bashing about the error of my ways. And he said to bring you too. What has it got to do with me? Plenty. You're in it with me ever since that punt. All right. We should get going then, shouldn't we, Sir Hanush? The sooner we get it over and done with, the better. I suppose so. Right away. I put some of my old clothes in a trunk for you. I don't want you making me look bad in front of Hanush. But I see it wasn't necessary. You look as smart as any courtier. Thanks. I'll try my best. So I see. But you can come and get those clothes later anyway. They're a little worn, but they're as fine as anything you'll get in the county. My ward and his, what shall we say, chaperone? Uncle, my lord. I hope we haven't dragged you away from anything too important. Not at all, Uncle. We like were just... boozing and whoring, for instance. Uh, Uncle, I can... Perhaps you were busy causing mayhem in the middle of the night and beating up my subjects. <sighs> no, it wasn't. Henry and I were just... Henry's as big a fool as you are. But he's not my ward, thank Christ. What the hell do the pair of you think you're doing? There are people in this fiefdom who work from dawn to dusk to put food on their tables and on yours, may I remind you. And then they look at you, Hans, their lord and master, and see a drunken layabout. That fellow you beat up last night was a guard, a new guard on the town watch. And he couldn't report for duty this morning because of his injuries. I had the bailiff here complaining, and could I tell him what I really think about this whole sorry affair? Of course not. That would demean me. And you too. So I had to sit gaping like a stuffed owl and listen to his grievances. Maybe you think because you're the Lord here you can get away with anything. But you're sadly mistaken, you blockhead. A lord remains a lord only as long as he commands the loyalty of his subjects. 
I'm sure I don't have to tell you the folk here are not exactly enchanted at the prospect of having you in charge. That was the last straw, Capon. One more of your escapades and I'll send you to your mother in Polna. For all I care, she can dress you up like a wench and marry you off to some Hungarian. Uncle, that arson b Archibald tried to murder me. What was I to do? Oh, don't exaggerate. Well, I'm hardly surprised after you molested his girl and humiliated him. Well, I was only... Oh, I'm don't so whine, for I'm heaven's sorry. sake. It's about time you started taking some responsibility. I have a job for you. Maybe that will keep you out of mischief. So Milota of Oleshna has turned up here. Do you know him? Isn't he Sir Bernard's cousin? He is. He came here with the remnants of his retinue to seek refuge. He's seriously wounded. What happened to him, sir? His fortress Oleshna was attacked by one Wolfren of Camburg. Milota pursued him almost as far as Neuhof and engaged with him. Unfortunately, the skirmish didn't end well for Milota. Wolfling of Camburg, that name is familiar. Yeah, he's kin to the Oleshna lords too, a cousin of Bernard's and the Lotters. Their family affairs are a little complicated. None of my business, of course. I just wish they'd found somewhere else to thrash out their differences. What do you want us to do, sir? Go and see Bernard in the courtyard. He got a report that Wolfland pillaged some other farms around Neuhof, and he's putting a squad together to ride against him. Mind your step, though. It's a family affair, after all. Maybe more to it than meets the eye. The important thing is to get that damn scavenger out of the domain. If possible, without bloodshed. I can't afford to lose any men over this business. Have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. Very well, Uncle. Get to work, then. are always hiding somewhere in the woods like animals. With the nobles, you know where you are. They have rules.